Linda McMahon, the former head or co-head of the World Wrestling Entertainment Organization, has been named by the incoming Trump administration to be the head of the Small Business Administration. Now this caught my eye for a couple of reasons, because typically people who are involved with an entertainment entity like professional wrestling don't really get involved in high-profile public office positions. Linda McMahon has had a strong interest in public life for many years now. She's run for the U.S. Senate not once but twice and spent, uh, depending on how you add it up, between a 50 and a hundred million dollars of her own money to obtain high office. She did not win either race, but apparently the passion is still there. Now, after giving around seven million dollars in campaign contributions to the Trump campaign, she has been rewarded with a top flight position. Here, it, to me, is what's significant. She helped rebrand herself because when she was in the professional wrestling world, she sometimes got into the ring, played a fictionalized character of herself, was kneeing people, <laughs> not exactly the dignified image you have of a cabinet official. But she rehabilitated her image by running for office. And while she didn't win, she did strike many people as a credible, serious candidate. She gave speech after speech, did not embarrass herself. I don't remember any of her speeches as standing out as particularly great, but they obviously didn't stand out as horrible. I would have recommend I would have remembered them. Here's the thing. In general, I do not recommend people run for public office just to gain exposure to help them for future offices. It doesn't usually work that way. But in this case, she did rehabilitate her reputation. My prediction is she will probably have one of the easier times of getting through Senate confirmation of the many Trump cabinet appointees.